Good morning. We are here along Seton Avenue in Coquitlam, where uh, police, there's a heavy police presence. There's a number of homes here. A number have been boarded up as there's, a, I, I can see a sign here, a development uh, application here. So there's some sort of development that may take place here. What we do know is that this is an eye hit investigation. Coquitlam RCMP have uh, confirmed that. And we have a neighbor that just walked up here. Could I speak to you live? Is that, is that okay? Yeah, for sure. Okay, what's your name? Emmett. Emmett. So, what can you tell us about what took place here? We have very little information from police. Um, yeah, same with us. They're not really giving us any information at all. Um, we are just assuming it's a homicide just because of the tent that's set up. Um, came home from work around 5.30 Monday evening and street was blocked off. That's about it. You said Monday evening. Monday evening, yeah. So a lot of police here. Yeah, about seven or eight cars here. Yeah, not sure how many actual officers, but the entire street from where we're standing down the alleyway and all the way back up is all blocked off, has been since Monday evening. So have police said anything to, to you at all? or No, nothing they're not able to give us because it's an ongoing investigation. So like I said, the only reason we assume it's a homicide just because the tent is set up there. Was the tent set up on Monday evening? No, that was Tuesday evening, yeah. So that is new. Okay. Do you, I'll just ask you one more question. Yeah. Uh, you took, you caught me off guard actually yeah, walking up, and I, I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, do you feel safe living here? Um, yeah, I mean, this is the first incident that's ever happened on this block. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously with the development going on, there's a couple of boarded up houses. But um, other than that, I haven't had any reason to feel otherwise unsafe. Okay. So. Well, we've we've reached out to IHIT, so when we get an update, I'll I'll definitely let you know. Perfect. Okay. Th thanks that. for joining yeah. us. Thank you. Okay. Uh, a shooting in Abbotsford. We want to tell you about as well. It happened uh, last night uh, at around uh, 7:30. If we go to that, uh, those visuals from the scene there. Uh, two shots were fired in the Tim Hortons drive-through of an Esso station on South Fraser Way. Uh, again, this is just before 7:30 last night. Now, police do not believe this was a gang-related incident. A man in his early 20s has been taken to hospital. It's not clear how serious his injuries are. Police are expected to release more details today on that incident. And if we come back over here, Milan, uh, roughly uh, 36 uh, kilometers uh, from that scene, uh, a young man was shot in downtown Chilliwack. He is not expected to survive. Uh, police say the victim, a 27-year-old man, was found with uh, gunshot wounds. Uh, and this was uh, on Yale Road and Fletcher Street. Homicide investigators are now involved in that investigation. We feel for the family of this young man. We feel for his friends, and we feel for the people in the community of Chilliwack. We are going to be working diligently to try to identify the person or persons responsible for this crime and to ensure that they are held accountable for their actions. We do believe that there were people in the area at the time of the shooting that may have key information that could assist the investigation. We are asking them to do the right thing, to come forward, and to tell us what they know. So it looks like this is going to be a very busy day for the Integrated Homicide Investigation Team. Uh, again, uh, another I hit file here in Coquitlam. And as we just heard moments ago from a man who lives on the, on the road here, uh, police first arrived at, at the scene around Monday evening. Now there's a tent that's been set up, and uh, I hit is now involved in this investigation. Mary? All right. Thank you so much, Greg. Greg Harper reporting in Coquitlam for us. 734, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau will hold.